Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Last time we were talking about misgivings or badbumani. We will talk about it in, in uh, greater detail. And we will also talk about negative thinking and how to handle the bullies in our life. So if we look at the origin of negative thinking, it is given in the Holy Quran in Surah Al-Hijr. My Lord, because thou hast sent me astray, I verily shall adorn the path of error for them in the earth and shall mislead them, them, save such of them as are thy perfectly devoted slaves. So this is a challenge thrown by Satan, that he will, or the devil, that he will mislead bulk of mankind. But he also says that um, he won't be able to um, swerve the most devoted slaves of God from, their, from the straight path. تو ساتھ اس نے یہ کہا کہ جی اللہ تعالیٰ سے بدگمانی یہ کی کہ کیونکہ آپ نے مجھے راستے سے ہٹا دی اپنے آپ نے مجھے گمراہ کی ہے تو اس لیے میں بدلے کے طور پہ دنیا میں تمام انسانوں کو جو ہے گمراہ کروں گا سوائے جو آپ کے مخلص بندے ہیں ان کے اوپر میرا زور نہیں چلے گا تو نیگیٹو تھنکنگ جو ہے اس کے اندر بدگمانی کا بہت سارا انصر شامل ہوتا ہے سو وی ہیو ٹو اوائڈ دیٹ کوشش کریں کہ ریلیشن شپس میں کم سے کم بدگمانی ہو انلے سم ون پروو دیٹ ہی از بینٹ آن ہارمنگ یو مگر انیشیلی جو آپ کا گمان ہے وہ اچھا گمان ہونا چاہیے یو شوڈ تھنک ان اے پراپر وے اینڈ ناٹ ڈاؤٹ دی انٹینشنز آف سم ون اینڈ ایز فار ایز دی نیکسٹ کوشچن از کنسرن ریگارڈنگ دی بولیز ان یور لائف تو اٹ از لائک دس We will discuss that, but let's discuss this change element. It seldom happens that a man changes his life through his habitual reasoning, no matter how fully he may sense the new plans and aims revealed to him by reason. He continues to plod long in the old paths until his life becomes frustrating and unbearable. He finally makes a change only when his usual life can no longer be tolerated. So every dark cloud has a silver lining. Sometimes one is so miserable and he feels so wretched and he feels so unusually disturbed and he is desperate for a change only then he tries to bring about a change in himself so if you keep on normally suffering and suffering then there are no chances of um, in a way bringing about a radical change it is only when you uh, think that you cannot take it any further then you try to uh, come out with a change which will truly transform you. So uh, this was just uh, another, uh, let's say, interpolation. We now come on to, uh, again, the previous subject of uh, how to handle the bullies in your life. Now here, Jim Carrey tells us, avoiding certain people to protect your emotional and mental health is not a weakness, it is wisdom. So you should be selectively blind and you should be selectively dumb when it comes to people who are bitter and hostile towards you. Because, and you should try to avoid them. But unfortunately, if your spouse is like that, then you have to face the situation and handle it to the best of your ability. avoid as a woman, you have a husband who is very unreasonable, then you can't Uh, avoid him then you have to take some drastic measure or you have to overlook his uh, uh, rational attitude but the best thing is that you should then be selectively blind and you should be selectively dumb so that you do not um, assimilate all the negative criticism that is coming towards you So bullies in your life may be in, in the form of very dominating and domineering people who try to uh, make full use of your um, weaknesses and also your temperament and they exploit it. They may be friends also. Sometimes you may be, have a bullying friend who tries to push you too hard. And sometimes it may be in your marital relationship that your partner may become a bully and may not uh, give you any room or space. So you have to devise some strategy, but uh, you must protect yourself emotionally and mentally. 
So the solutions are that first of all, you should be aware of your state, in what state you are. Are you feeling miserable? Are you feeling wretched? Are you feeling happy or elevated? And if you are feeling um, um, that uh, miserable, then there should be a strong desire for change for Allah does not help those who do not want to change. And then the next solution is become part of a bigger cause. That is join uh, the efforts of someone who is doing some noble thing. And remember after every hardship there is ease. And then try to organize yourself by training yourself. Set short and manageable goals to develop your confidence. Normally those who are leading a miserable life or who are wretched in um, their thinking and uh, feel pessimistic about life, they have um, a sort of a despair in them, then uh, they also lack confidence. But if they give themselves short-term goals which are manageable, that would help them to develop their confidence. And do not choke yourself to death. And avoid unearned guilt. Whenever you are faced with a bully, he will tell you that everything has gone wrong because of you. So you don't have to take that guilt. But sometimes there is a bombardment of this coming from different bullies who live in the same house and they make you believe that you are responsible for everything that has gone wrong in the house or the family. They, in a way, impose this unearned guilt upon you. Now, this is a very, very gruesome and a very, very dismal kind of a position. And here you must take um, some remedial measures which are desperate but which should not take you towards suicide or anything wrong of that sort. You must fight your battle on your ground. So, wish you all the best and thank you very much. Stay happy and safe.